Hello, this is going to be a little bit different. It's not a gaming related video, it's more of a leisure technology video and not so much of a review as a let's just have a quick look at this thing. You know from the title already what I'm going to be looking at, but a little background. In my teens and twenties, and to a lesser degree my thirties, I read a lot, mostly science fiction, a uh, little bit of other slightly weird stuff, William Burroughs, hence the uh, Benway name. You might know what I'm talking about, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I read a lot, and like, it was the 80s and 90s, I was reading books. Um, things have moved on. Yeah, books are still nice, but they take up a lot of space, and that's something I don't have. So I've got I've gotten rid of probably 95% of all the books that I owned. I've just kept a very, very select few. But anyway, that's kind of by the by. Um, things being what they are now with technology, if I'm going to read something, I read it on Kindle. I read ebooks. And up until now, I've been perfectly happy reading using the Kindle app either on my phone or on this here, um, it's a Xiaomi Mi Pad 3, something like that. I, I got given it as a review thing years ago, and it's still going strong, and it's good for reading ebooks. Um, and my job kind of factors into this. I'm a cleaner, as some of you will know. I, I clean an office building and another a storage facility connected to the office building, and this involves an amount of downtime while I'm waiting for a particular storage unit, shall we say, to become vacant, and then I go and clean it. Um, so during this downtime, I've taken to reading. It's like there's only so much Twitter you can read before you've scrolled through to where you started off. So I've been reading a book that I first read in my late teens, um, Eon by Greg Bear, and became completely engrossed with it whilst reading at work, <laughs> to the point that I started reading it while I was at home. Now, while I'm at work, I'm reading it on the on the Kindle app on my phone, and it's like, ice, I, my eyesight's rubbish, I wear... I wear these when I'm at work, which are bifocals, and so I'm having to either look through the reading bit at the bottom, or uh, peer over the top. Kind of hurts me eyes. But when I, I got engrossed in this book, I started reading on the Xiaomi tablet. And I spent a whole day reading it on that tablet. And by the end of that night, I had a pounding headache. And it was, it, it was from reading that on, on the tablet and I got to thinking I need something better than this for reading if I'm going to read for extended periods. The tablet is an, it's a nice size but it's... Because of the weight I was holding it down quite low which meant I was looking down and that was pulling on the back of my neck and also I was getting eye strain because the way I was holding it, I don't know, something about it, it just it gave me a pounding headache. I thought, I need to try something different. So, Googled um, Kindle Paperwhite. I'd heard of it. I've, I'd heard of the Paperwhite, which is what we're going to look at in now. Getting to the point, finally. Um, I had some experience of Kindled before, like quite a few years ago I, I had a go with the Kindle and found it quite annoying because I was already used to using tablets with touchscreens and it didn't, you had to click buttons to navigate and I was like, don't like that. But I did like the screen and having used one I knew that the screen was really really easy on the eyes. So. I bought one. Big thank you to my Patreon supporters because it was with your money that I bought this. I'm going to turn the camera around now so we can have a look. This isn't going to be like a full, here are all the details and all the things this can do. Because honestly, I don't know all the things that it can do. And if I was a good reviewer, I would take more time to find out. But honestly, I, I don't care. <laughs> I just want to read books. But I do know a couple of little tricks it can do and I'll, I'll show you that. Probably nothing you don't know already. Bear with me. 
Okay, so this is the Kindle Paperwhite. I think it's a 11th Gen 2021 model, 8 gigabytes of storage. Um, what did it cost? About £129, something like that, plus postage. Um, and it is an interesting thing. I mean, if you know about Kindles already, you're probably going to be thinking, OK, we know all that. But I'm not a Kindle aficionado, shall we say. I'm, uh, yes, I've used one in the past, but I find this thing fascinating. And the first thing that I find fascinating is the fact that this thing's turned off, or at least it's in sleep mode. So it's using virtually no power. Uh, the battery life is something like six weeks, apparently. But, OK, it, it's this thing's asleep, but it's still displaying. It's got stuff on the screen, and I find that fascinating because it's it's got that what the hell do they call it e electronic paper whatever um it's not a, an lcd screen it's not like a tablet screen it's something really funky it's black and white it's non-shiny well sort of it's got a sort of a silky sheen and it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet depending on how the light catches it but anyway let's turn it on or wake it up and bam we're straight into where I left it um, touch screen which is cool um, so you, you can control it's got a light by the way earlier Kindles didn't have a light but this you can in daylight you don't need the light at all the light is now off. You can read it just fine, and that extends the battery life even more. Um, how do we get... there we go, home. So, my library of books is currently downloaded on here. All I've got is these three. Uh, Greg Bear books, and uh, Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin, which was the first book I ever read when I was in school. No, that's a lie. The first book I read was The White Mountain, which was later the Tripods TV series. But anyway, second book I ever read. God, I'm waffling. So, I mean, if you're used to um, the Kindle app, this, this is just like everything you've got on the Kindle app. It works in the same way, pretty much, as far as I can tell. Um... You can buy books straight off of here, or you can buy them on the Amazon web page or your Amazon app, and they will just load straight to your Kindle, um, which is great. I've got it's like loads of books here that I've already bought and read, or what the hell is that? Oh, it's a, I think it's a tutorial on Photoshop or something like that, or Lightroom. Yeah, um, lots of oh, Marvel comics, Captain Britain. De oh, I've been talking about it. Death's Head. Death's Head 2, rather. Awesome. Anyway, loads and loads of stuff. Let's get back to where I was in the book that I was reading, and I'll show you. There's a, th There are some... There are a lot of features here that I am vaguely aware of but don't use. But there is one that I find really cool that I found completely by accident. Um... When I was reading this book back in 1986, uh, I would come across the odd word that I didn't know what it meant. And so I would have to find a dictionary, and if I was lucky, it would have that word in it. But here, if you come across a word that you don't know what it means, and I don't think there are any words on this page that I don't know, but let's, let's go singularity. You just... Uh, yeah, don't do that. And I've lost... There we go. Getting the pressure right and holding it long enough is a fine art, but there it is. Um, dictionary, and it, it will tell you all the stuff about that. And you can, um, you can add notes and stuff. Like if I wanted to add a note on that word, press that, write a note, and it will save it. And you can go back to your notes later on if you know how to do that, which I don't because I've never actually bothered to do that, but it's a thing. You can you can highlight whole sections like that and highlight it and write notes and you can share that and see you can look at shared notes on this book and see what other people have said about the book. 
which is a novel. All of this stuff is in the Kindle app. Some of it I stumbled across by accident and found it annoying because the touchscreen on my phone is more sensitive than this and I would trigger it by accident. Um, there, there are various things on this that are a novel. Non-standard setup here is how I've got the, uh, the cover of the book as the cover of the Kindle tablet thingy itself. That's not that's not a default setting. Uh, it has just like a, a well a default image if you like. Not exactly a screensaver, but you can have it display the cover of the book that you're currently reading on the uh, the lock screen, shall we say, which is really cool. So uh, I go with that. It's a shame actually the cover of this book isn't the cover that was on the paperback that I read back in 1986. That had a much cooler cover. That was the original cover. This is some uh, reprint cover. Really good book, by the way. Set in, ri written in 1985, set in 2005, being read in 2022, sort of looking back at how he thought his future and our what is our past. How, d how does that differ? His vision because we've been there and gone past it, and what he envisioned, uh, some of it is quite topical. <laughs> some of it, yeah. Anyway, that's by the by. Uh, what do I think of this? In case you haven't noticed, I love it. But what? Is there a reason to buy one of these? Do you need one of these? Because, I mean... To a degree, it's a novelty, and you might well say, well, I've got a tablet and a phone, why do I need one of those? Because for the longest time, I, I did not, didn't see a need for one of these until I tried reading at length. Because when I've been reading on my tablet or my phone, it's just been little snippets, a little bit here and there, and I've never tried, like, never got engrossed in a book, so I spent the whole day reading. And then the first time I did that, pounding headache. I've since spent a whole day reading on here and didn't get a headache. And it's to do with this display. It is just really, really easy on the eye. In a way that, well, a, a book is, a paperback book. Except, of course, it's got a backlight so you can read it in the dark with the lights off. Good for reading in bed, whatever, you know, if you... You're laying next to someone and don't want to wake them up. It doesn't cast so much light that it's going to disturb them, which is cool. The other good thing about this, you can read it easily in broad daylight without draining the battery because you need a backlight turned up super bright. Um, one of the things I had in mind and that also prompted me to buy it was we had some really, really nice weather recently. Last week, it was sunny. Um, Joe and myself went for a walk in the park local park it was lovely we sat down on a bench and i thought do you know i could sit here and read a book on one of my days off and it would be really nice but you know i'm doing all my reading on a tablet and the tablet would just it's probably not bright enough and it would certainly drain the batteries having it up bright enough to see in that sunlight i thought one of these would do nicely for that um and this arrived and I was impressed and the next day it snowed. Great. I haven't been and re read this or anything in the park yet because snow is bloody freezing. It's a cool piece of kit. It's not an essential must-have thing unless you're someone who reads a lot and has dodgy eyes and is inclined to headaches if you read a conventional tablet for a lot of hours and you want to... If you don't want to read in a park and your eyes are fine, you don't need one of these. But there are some circumstances where it's just the best thing. And also, <laughs> this this is silly. It's, I'm just being childish, but I love the way it, it just the the it doesn't have a full animated page flip effect. But it's like. It's cool, the way it does it. It's not overly sensitive, like, it's not like a tablet screen, touch screen, it's, it's different, it's more, 
subtle and not always as responsive as you would like. But, yeah, I've probably lost my place in the book now. <laughs> Okay, that's that's really all I wanted to uh, show you. It's more of a waffle. It's a it's a technic techno toy waffle. It's not a review. Definitely not a tutorial on how to use the thing because there are lots of things on here that I know it can do, but I don't know how to do it because I don't have a need to know. But there are lots of um, tutorials on on um, YouTube that will explain the finer details of what this can do. Really, I just wanted to say if you read a lot. These things are cool. Okay, again, big thank you to my Patreon supporters, because without their support, I wouldn't have bought this. Because, okay, it's not as expensive as a, uh, a normal Android tablet, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not an off-the-cuff, spontaneous purchase. Mm. Okay, going now. Thank you for watching. Patreon? That's not even a word, you made it up.